Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2. In this video, I will clean the throttle body on 1.416 valve AWA engine. Uh, this is uh, a left hand drive uh, car, so uh, maybe right hand drive cars have some, uh, 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 some things, parts uh, differently installed. So, what do we need to do or where the throttle body is? Uh, as you can see, let me just put like this. The throttle body is this one here so if we see a look at the engine and the throttle body is here so what we need to do is remove this plastic tube here uh, this tube uh, this plastic part here and uh, first i will just remove this uh, this connector here from this plastic tube like this and we have one uh, screw that holds here this plastic part and at the back if i show you you can see there is one here is it's a rubber it's a rubber um, part that holds so we need to just uh, after i will unscrew that screw there at the front you just pull it up and here is the one and the second one is uh, behind there so there are two screws i'll put a photo uh, up so this is it and first of course we need to uh, remove also this clip and uh, then go forward to this uh, there is also a screw on the thr throttle body to, bo body to remove this plastic part. So this is uh, this screw uh, that needs to unscrew, it. and then you just pull all this this part plastic part up with two um, rubber uh, at the back. You just pull them up, and then I will move all th this plastic part here up so that I will have access to the throttle body. Throttle body you can see here is one uh, one nut that holds it. Uh, there are four nuts and uh, you just unscrew it and we can take it out of course before disconnecting the connector to the throttle body so let's go to work i will first start with this uh, screw here so this is the t20 and just like this okay you can take the ratchet out And be careful that you don't lose the screw that it falls down so this is only one and it's already out and now i will use these pliers to remove this uh, clip so what we, i need to do is like this and just push it together and now i will remove this rubber pipe so this is it and i will put it here up up here uh, now i need to remove also the uh this screw here of the for the throttle body so this is a flat screwdriver so i'll just do it like this and unscrew it i need to take uh this so that it doesn't turn at the back so i'll just unscrew it okay i think that it is okay yeah you can already see that this is already moving up a little bit so now we have two rubber uh, clips one is here and the other one is somewhere around here so i'll put this and this is now free and you can see that the rubber already goes from the throttle body uh, throttle body so now i will just push this up from this rubber clip and this one is already out yeah and now we have one also here at the back and also this so now this clip is out both clips and also the rubber if you see it's uh, the connection pipe is already from the throttle body body so i will now take it out slowly i have here the second dipstick so it's a little bit less space but yeah it will be possible okay so here as you can see is also a, a tube so i will be careful not to break it i will just put this everything up here like this away from the throttle body and now i have access to it as you can see the rubber part on this stayed on so i will just take it off okay like this and put it back on so here like this so that is you see one and two these rubber clips i will put this like here and now i have a full access to the throttle body this is where i need the t20 
uh, no sorry t5 and of course this one and the ratchet so you need a, this prolongation so that I will have access so there are four boards one two three four and I will just start with this one like this okay yeah it's easy so this one at the back also no. these two a little bit harder to access but should not be a problem big problem okay I think that I have it yeah so like this and now also this one here and you just like this and tighten them and now I will just do it by hand because it is not a problem yeah see they can go out easily and this is the first one so not to lose them okay, I'll just put them here like this then we have the second one to come out like this okay I think that they are the same so it should not be a problem how you put them back on the third one yeah like this and the fourth one okay now the total body should be already accessible easily accessible uh, should be possible to take out but you need to be careful be because there is also a connector not to break the connector or the wire so I'll put this all here as you can see it's a little bit oily okay so I I've taken it out and here at the back is the connector you can see it you just push this clip down and take the connector out okay like this so this is the connector nothing is broken and I can take the throttle body out now where it will go no now we need to take it here and here is the throttle body as you can see it's a little bit dirty and it's a lot too dirty from the bottom side it's quite dirty so definitely it needed cleaning and then I think that the car should as you can see it's not completely closed yeah uh, should the car should run better after cleaning it and this is only 20,000 kilometers because I have cleaned it 20,000 kilometers uh, back okay so this is it and now we have here here is this uh, gasket as you can see uh -huh, here it didn't it wasn't be best so this gasket is definitely not usable anymore and as I said it needs to be clean, uh, uh, changed you cannot put it uh, differently so uh, the, the site it, it's easy then to install it back okay. and now if you look uh, here where the throttle body was in as you can see here is uh, here was the gasket and the throttle body was on here are the four boards and here is also this aluminium part that is also quite dirty so I think that I will try to take it off and clean it uh, also clean it and uh, then replace also the rubber gas gasket below this part anyway for removing this part this part here we need to uh, unscrew these two screws at the, the, at the right side and there is a very limited space so I needed to improvise a little bit but I managed to untighten them so with this one with this and the second one with the other tool barely managed but uh, now uh, this was uh, the T30 and uh, I can unscrew them uh, by hand now so these two screws and then the whole this part goes out so I will first this one 
at the bottom like this so it goes by hand and also I will untighten also at the top and now I will just use my hand without this so that I don't lose it yeah, it goes they go easily out both screws be careful not to lose them down so that they don't fall fall down and here is the upper one and now I need to unscrew only the bottom one also this is it so the bottom one is out and now this should go out but there is also a hose connected there so let me just take this out okay now I have a problem because the gasket for EGR dropped down okay I will need to take it out later and find it so here is also a clip that I will need to unclip to remove this hose need pliers I think that I can just push with my hand <sighs> okay it goes out out so here is this pipe and it also needs cleaning as you can see also this uh, that go through to DGR are quite clock clocked so this is it and here is also the gasket which doesn't look really perfect so I will just replace it yeah it's not it's not so bad but I will replace it and clean everything completely also this part and now I will also need to find the gasket for the EGR pipe that fall fall down that could be a uh, quite stressful <laughs> and now uh, let me uh, clean all uh, this uh, first I will start with the uh, carburetor uh, this uh, throttle body uh, body I bought this carburetor cleaner this is uh, exactly for this I'll be careful not to spray over this part so that any uh, liquid will not go down here because here is uh, electronics inside so let me just spray it now and I will use a uh, toothbrush to clean a little bit Let's see what if it will help so something is going uh, away yeah it's a little bit by this way I can already see that it will ah, it's already better cleans nicely okay so from this side it is already much better it's already cleaned it was not so dirty so let me just like this and now let me just see okay you just push it from this side through so that it opens I will hold it open and now I will clean also here inside and then this side the same also this part here it's a little bit of this one here 
After 20 minutes of cleaning, the throttle body is uh, spotless inside, as you can see. Also here, all the parts, and I, I've also cleaned also here, where this one is, so everything is cleaned. And also the uh, this bottom part is also nicely cleaned, especially this hole, uh, as you can see, especially this hole that goes to the EGR, which was practically three quarter blocked. So now it is cleaned, also cleaned uh, this hole that goes here, and everything is prepared for installation. And that's it. Uh, the this this is uh, already nicely cleaned, as you can see, it's cleaned everything. And uh, first, uh, now I will do the installation. First, I need to put back the uh, this uh, seal. So this gasket, it, this was the original, it is not damaged. So maybe I could just reuse it, but I will use this uh, new one. So I'll just use this one. So I'll put this in. Like this. Okay, so it needs to go here, inside this ring. That's it just need to push it in so that it is, it is inside the ring so that it does not move and so that it will be nicely seated that's it now it is nicely seated firmly and it is already in just here a little bit more yeah and that's it it will not move and it will provide the seal that it is needed so this is the first one now I'll put this this part on but first I will put the gasket to the thr throttle body so this is it you cannot put it uh, any other way except like this so you see here it is here and here so when you put it on you just press this in and this is it and also this part here you press it firmly in so this is why this gasket is only usable once and it is nicely seated it will not move when i install the the part so this is it and now i will install this part so i'll just put it like here like this and push it easily down and this is it and this is it so this is now pushed in so now i should not forget the uh to this will be pushed in with this four nuts from throttle body so now not to forget i will put in this install back in this pipe that is here so maybe if it will go without needing to clip that okay Yeah, I will take this part back up and it will be easier to push this pipe in. Okay. just a little bit more <coughs> that's it now it is firmly on so I will install now this uh, now it is firmly on and I will just recheck the seal this rubber seal it's okay just push it here a little bit down and the rubber seal is now okay and now I will install this part here like this and it goes in that's it so just for info this rubber uh, the, here is a clip that this rubber hose needs to go in so I will just push it now in like this so that it is fixed okay so this this rubber goes here 
there is one clip here and one clip is here so now it is in and of course i should not forget about this gasket that is between this part and the uh, hose that goes to the egr valve and th that it fell down so i needed to raise the car and completely uh, took take off the plastic uh, undercover and then i found it so this is the seal i will uh, try to be careful and not to you to lose it so now i don't think it will be possible to see but i will just put it now inside in between here Let me check yeah, like this okay and i will put already one nut through so that it does not fall through let me check like this okay okay this can be okay a little bit tricky but i think that it is yeah so the seal is in, in between and one nut is already in a little bit so it will not fall yes perfect now i'll put in the, the bottom one also very carefully that i don't lose it that's it so this gasket is in the rubber gas gasket is uh, below this is great this is great so both these nuts are in i will need to uh, tighten them they they were not really f very tight so uh, I, I should probably be able to get them tight i have this one but it is uh, a little bit long it's a little bit long so i would advise you to get a shorter one it will be much easier so now i'll just uh, stop recording because i don't have space i will need to wiggle this a little bit and tighten this screws too and when i tighten them then we'll go uh, forward with the throttle body installation okay so now uh, this is uh, ready I, I managed to tighten these two nuts everything is fine this is connected this hose is connected it's also here in this bracket correctly so now I will uh, uh, the the throttle body is nicely clean as it should be as you can see so now I will go from this side I will put it in like this and it goes here down of course first i need to connect the connector to the throttle body so this is it and it should click that's it it's, it clicked and now i just install it nice and easily down here let's see like this yeah that's it and it needs to go uh, to the to this gas gasket that's it i think it is okay now i will use the nuts the bolts not the nuts the bolts and just put them through yeah let me check yeah this is already connected it's already done and then this one that's it the third one it's behind here so i will need to go from here that's it it's also already okay and now the fourth one which is somewhere around here let me just yeah that's it okay so this will be easier with uh, the with this one so i will just hand tighten them for now easy one this one and on the opposite side that's it and just slowly just so that it is yes like this and now on this one okay and the last one which is here at the back so now i'm hand tightening it across so that it is nicely seated like this and the last one here the fourth one first one second like this okay let me turn this one like 
this and then this one here. And also this one. That's it. Okay, so now they are hand tightened and now I will use the torque wrench and tighten them to 10 newton meters of torque. This is specified. Probably you should not tighten them bo more because if you could damage the rubber seal uh, below this. So let me just set the set the torque wrench to 10. That's it. And okay. And I will start again from the back at the right from the right at the back let me just put this in okay it's in and now i need to tighten it okay a little bit that's it a little bit more and then i will go to the front here okay and i will tighten it not to the 10 but just a little bit more by hand that's it and then i will go left at the back okay that's it and front right okay so now they are a little bit tightened and now i will go probably to the full 10 newton meters until okay it already clicked this is it this one is now the left back okay okay clicked now the front left okay okay clicked and the back left remain uh, right the back right just find it where it is this okay okay a little bit more okay and right back also tightened so i will take the wrench out and this is it the throttle body is uh, installed uh, tightened to the 10 newton meters the connector is is connected so now we just need to put all the plastic back and that should be it then we need to also adapt the throttle body first we need to install this plastic here and uh, i think that it will be easier like this if i put it like this yeah and it's almost in okay so and then you just put it uh, back here and i will put this over the throttle body so let me just get it here okay like this it's already over throttle body so now i need to adjust this rubber rubber here and i'll just push it down okay and it's in so this is it this is already here on this part it's on the throttle body so this is great but i need to push also this uh, rubber seal at the back down so that it will okay and it connected okay you see now it is already firmly even if i haven't yet tightened this and uh, put this screw in so you have two rubber uh, rubber uh, grommets that you need to uh, push this uh, plastic part down so here is already on the throttle body now i will just use a flat screwdriver to uh, to tighten it so it's here let me do it like this okay so need to tighten it so that it is nicely fixed it's easy job so not a problem okay a little bit more and it's tightened so this is it and now we need to put also this uh, screw in here yeah okay, let me just put it by hand so that it doesn't fall down and mm, 
check. Yeah, like this should be. Yeah. Okay. And now torque 20. Okay, it should be by hand first. Yeah, like this. So I also used this opportunity to clean this dust. Everything, this was all previously, it was all dusty. So I cleaned everything here, also below this uh, intake manifold and everything so that it is nicely cleaned since everything is already out why not clean it so you, you don't need to tighten this a lot just a little bit and as you can see this plastic part is now fixed here it is also fixed to the total body in both two uh, grommets or whatever they are called they hold it there so now we need to put this back on this goes here and like this so I will need to gain uh, this tool, this tool, just like this and just push it in. Yeah, it's already in. And here you have also marks that need to uh, be aligned. So I will just do it like this and put it a little bit more up. So these two marks, they need to be aligned and this is it. And of course, we should not forget also put this back on here. The holder for this uh, hose here. And this is it. Job done uh, physically. Now we will need to adapt uh, with the VCDS, the throttle body, and then check if it will work uh, more. So this job was not really uh, was not really hard but it takes some time and it's good to uh, be careful on that uh, sealant uh, that uh, that i lost and i needed to raise the car take off the plastic under tray and uh, it took me 20 minutes at least or even half an hour just to get that seal back uh, the rest is quite straightforward and uh, if you have the right tools you can just easily do it uh, yourself of course, now you need to have VCDS um, or uh, some other diagnostic tool. I don't know if, it, if, if they work, probably yes. And we need to adapt the throttle body so that it will, because it was uh, cleaned, I moved it and so that it will be adapted to this new clean setting. Okay, and now the last phase of the throttle body, body cleaning. This is the adaptation of throttle body. I will use uh, VCDS. And first I will just turn the ignition on. So not the engine on, just the ignition on. Okay, fuel pump is primed. And now I will go to select engine. It should connect now, let's see, yes. And then I will just go to measuring blocks. 060. Sorry, 060 and click go like this and I will switch to basic settings. That's it. And you can hear how the throttle body clicked. And it's still doing something. Okay, let's see. Adaptation run. Adaptation OK. Let's leave it a little bit more somewhere around half a minute so you can see here that the adaptation is okay let me just wait a little bit more yeah everything is okay i'll switch to measuring blocks and done close controller and this is it so now uh I can now let's try to turn the ignition on uh, the engine on so I will just turn the ignition on again fuel is primed fuel pump and yeah wow it turned really wow
Okay. Okay, so first ob observation is quite uh, positive because uh, before when I turned it on the minimum was not really fixed, it was a little bit jumping, so now, now it is quite okay. Also I think that the response of the throttle is a little bit better, but I will need to test this uh, uh, in the drive and I will uh, report back. And I'm back from the test drive, so uh, definitely the car is uh, is uh, not hunting for the revs at the minimum anymore, and also the res the throttle response is a little bit friskier, so it pulls uh, nice uh, nicely, not perfect but nicely uh, fr from the lower uh, revs when you put the pedal uh, uh, the throttle on. Thank you for watching, I hope that this video helped and to drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun, especially if you drive Audi A2. Bye! And I go now for another drive. What do we need for uh, cleaning the throttle body? So we need a flathead screwdriver, uh, Torx 5 uh, or what it is, this uh, this uh, five for removing the nuts from the throttle body bolts and uh, this T20 for removing the uh, plastic tube also a ratchet and a torque wrench for uh, uh, for throttle body nuts to uh, tighten the correct way I have here also two uh, gaskets this gasket is for the under the throttle body in the, and this gasket needs to be replaced so you definitely need to buy it I bought a uh, Fabi this is the part number I will also do the part put the part numbers in in the video description for the genuine uh, Audi uh, part and also this one and this gasket is a rubber gasket under the part that sits under the throttle body I will try to clean also that one for this it is not instructed in the service manual to replace it but only if it is uh, if it is damaged but I will replace it anyway also it is this part number